it's our 40th anniversary. Freedom of expression is absolutely central to everyone's concern. An occasion that makes me really honoured. We are going to be celebrating extraordinary achievements by individuals who have taken risks that none of us would normally expect to be necessary in order to preserve or to defend or to demand freedoms that ought to be theirs by right. A chance to put a spotlight like the awards ceremony tonight um, is, is, a, is a chance to acknowledge that often unsung work that goes it goes without reward a lot of the time, but is incredibly important in the foundations of a healthy and proper society. I think these awards are incredibly important because they're a very high profile way of saying not only that freedom of expression is a terribly important thing for us all to defend, but to really recognise and congratulate those people on the front line of being brave, expressing what they think, often in very, very difficult circumstances. Recognition means that people know that they're not alone that when they speak out for the truth, for justice, for human rights, that other people are with them. And sometimes it gives them protection, because the government may think twice about arresting someone who's got one of these awards, because they too will know that those people have got many people in the world behind them. Actually, it's, uh, I'm from Burma. Like uh, our country situation, is a uh, freedom of expression is the most important issue to get the democracy. So that's why I found that the freedom of expression is the most uh, important. These people are moving us on. They're really important in our society and they need celebrating. And the cause needs celebrating. And we need constantly to be reminded that it is going on, that it's an ongoing thing, this support for those who do not have this freedom. These awards are so important because they celebrate those people who are fighting against uh, ever-growing odds to get information out in difficult places. And what particularly interests me is the way new technology is being used in that battle. We're seeing some great examples here tonight of uh, organisations and people using technology to, to get to people, get to people with information in ways that were impossible just a few years ago. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2012 Index Freedom of Expression Awards. This year, as most of you will know, is a really special event. 40 years on since this remarkable organization was founded, and we've come a long way. The Guardian Award for Journalism, which recognizes investigative journalism of great determination across a range of media, print, online, radio, and television. And the winner is Idrak Abazov. Our second award is a, a new category this year. It's the Innovation Award, supported by Google. This prize recognizes innovation and the use of new technology to circumvent censorship and foster debate, argument, or dissent. And the winner is Freedom Phone by Kubatana. Our third category is for the arts. The Arts Award recognizes artists, filmmakers, and writers whose work asserts artistic freedom and battles against repression and injustice. And the winner in this category is Ali Fazat. <laughs> our, our final award for this part of the evening is the Beinman's Award for Advocacy. This award recognizes campaigners and activists who fought repression or who have challenged political climates and perceptions. And the winner of the Beinman's Advocacy Award is the Bahrain Center for Human Rights. Index is in rude health. As our tagline suggests, we really are the voice of free expression in the UK and around the world. Without freedom of expression to guide us, we're lost. That's the message I'll take with me as I move on. So thanks to the team, thanks to our funders and our stakeholders for your support, your wisdom, and your great company. Thanks to our board, and particularly to Jonathan, an exemplary chair. As you can imagine, I am delighted to be the next chief executive of Index on Censorship. It's going to be a big challenge, a big challenge to follow in John's footsteps, to build on 
on the seriously brilliant work and activities that he and the whole index team have produced over the last three years and more. We now come to our, our final award of the evening. It's the Index 40th Anniversary Award. It's my pleasure to invite Sir Evelyn de Rothschild to make this presentation. Arena Flieger from Memorial. For me, this is a really, really important occasion, a chance to celebrate the brave.